everybody gonna do a quick real quick teardown video on a stepper motor that is used for controlling the uh, rpm gas temperature whatever in your car this is uh one type the gm and dodge and or chrysler and a bunch of other companies use this is another kind put them next to each other here these are a little more specific from what i found out that little uh, number right there is quite important, I found. The way the coil is made seems to make the most difference. They look the same, but they're a little different. But we're not worrying about that kind. We're worrying about this kind today. This is out of a, uh, a Tahoe or a Suburban on a, uh, from a video that I did previous to this one where I replaced these and I also put some new LEDs for their backlighting but I figured I'd show everybody what happens with this these go bad um, they are a two pole stepper motor basically it has uh, two coils and a little gearing setup I don't know if the magnet goes bad or lubrication or what the deal is but these always feel fine when they go bad they just don't work so you take them apart by popping these clips loose. I sort of think it's a, a wear thing because I've cleaned them and gotten them to work again for a short period. So we go around, we pop those clips, set it down, take the cover off. There, now you can see the inside. It's kind of neat. Let's see if we can zoom in on that more. And focus. Not really. We focus there. And yeah, we'll go there. All right. So here's our two coils. And down here, no, uh, there's a little tiny gear right there. It has like five or six. One, two, three. It looks like five tooth, maybe six tooth. And the uh, signal goes through and makes that gear turn, which then turns the other gears. Here, we'll take these out so you can see them. So that goes to the needle, and that's a reduce, uh, reducing gear, maybe? I don't know what the name is. And then this is the actual motor, I guess you could say. The uh, The center, the, uh, with the rotor, that's the word I'm looking for. It's magnetic and it's affected by signals to these three things here. Let's get that out of the way. There's one coil. Oh, I know what's going on. The coils magnetize the metal uh, alternatingly in a way that makes that rotate, which then moves these. Now these coils are probably okay. I suspect, and I'm not sure on this, is that either the magnetism, oops, magnetism gets messed up on this, or it's just wear, wear and tear. I and mean, the gears look okay. I don't see anything that would make me think they'd go bad. Maybe this, uh, this piece here that gives it a little resistance against the top. I don't know. I really don't know why they stopped working, but I'm pretty sure I've got my meter. Let's see, you gotta let's get to the continuity. Yeah. So these are gonna be 290 ohm. Come here, you. Here, actually I got an idea. Let's uh, zoom you all out a little bit so you can see the meter. There we go. Two hundred ninety and two eighty six, almost two ninety. So these should be okay. It should work, but it doesn't. But for the cost of replacing them, it's not that big a deal. So anyway, if you ever need to get out of a jam, you know, without buying a new one 
I would suggest taking it apart and just cleaning the holy heck out of everything. Get some, uh, get some rubbing alcohol or something like that just to clean out any crud or dried out lubricant. Sometimes they lubricate these and the, the lubricant goes bad from sitting, you know, it dries out and becomes more like a glue. Let's see, and that goes back in, that runs off that gear. And these guys drop in. Like, there's no screws holding this. It's just all snapped together and pressure fit and whatnot. And I'm sure there's better videos than this on how these things work. Of course, I, I read about it, but then as I started the video, it all fell out of my head. So, oh well. Uh, I have that upside. Oh, no, it's right side up. All right, so there we go. It's all together. Snap that back together. Yeah, I mean, it's working. Let's see. It doesn't feel good, though. Yeah, well, that's why we changed them. Anyway. That's the inside of a gauge stepper motor for your car, or for uh, most cars. Like I said, it's similar to other ones, other gauge steppers, but this one's just for uh, certain models. But anyway, that's what's inside. I uh, hope you never need to fix yours, but thanks for watching.